An urban opera called La Porte de Tenebris, The Gates of Hell, featured gigantic machines rolling around the streets of Toulouse. Replete with satanic symbolism, the event had deep ritualistic undertones that caused religious leaders of the city to protest against it. Here's a look at this bizarre event. In July, Paris hosted the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, which had less to do with sports and more with celebrating outright evil. A few months later, another French city decided to host a massive event that turned its streets into an outdoor satanic temple. Titled La Porte de Tenebris, The Gates of Hell, the festival featured massive machines moving around the city and interacting with each other. While the idea sounds cool, there's a catch. The machines represent demons, and the entire story is wholly satanic. The prologue of this urban opera highlights the ritualistic undertones of its story. Driven from the Garden of the Hesperides, Lilith, the Scorpion Woman, has found refuge in the depths of the earth. Freed by Hades, king of the underworld, she wanders from city to city in search of damned souls to increase her followers and her power. Assembling prodigious signs, she attempts to open a passageway to the beyond. This poster deserves a closer look because it sums up the true meaning of this festival. At the top left, the Toulouse Cathedral and the rest of the city are burning. Underneath it, a red-horned beast highly reminiscent of Baal references human sacrifice to please dark forces. At the bottom right, an angelic figure stands above walking skeletons. It most likely represents Lucifer, also known as the fallen angel. At the poster center is the opera's main character, Lilith. This name is not random. Lilith is the primordial she-demon cited in the mythology of multiple civilizations. Lilith, female demonic figure of Jewish folklore. Her name and personality are thought to be derived from the class of Mesopotamian demons called Lilu, and the name is usually translated as night monster. A cult associated with Lilith survived among some Jews as late as the 7th century CE. The evil she threatened, especially against children and women in childbirth, was said to be counteracted by the wearing of an amulet bearing the names of certain angels. Underneath Lilith is a character named Asterion the Minotaur. The labyrinth behind the character is a direct reference to Cretan occult mysteries. Here's a depiction of the Minotaur roaming around the labyrinth of Crete. Labyrinths were symbolic of the involvements and illusions of the lower world, through which wanders the soul of man in its search for truth. In the labyrinth dwells the lower animal man with the head of the bull, who seeks to destroy the soul entangled in the maze of worldly ignorance. The famous labyrinth of Crete, in which roamed the bull-headed minotaur, was unquestionably a place of initiation into the Cretan mysteries. The minotaur is also known for eating human flesh, a fact that plays nicely with the occult elite's obsession with cannibalism. While the event was promoted as an urban opera, the symbolism peppered throughout is everything but fictional. It is used in actual occult rituals, turning this event into a mega-ritual. While occult rituals usually happen behind closed doors, the elite loves to expose the masses to events drenched in satanic energy without them even realizing it. Some occult researchers call these events mega-rituals, where the dark spiritual tendencies of those in power are the dominant force in the public space. La Porte de Tenebras is a perfect example of this agenda. This is a giant horned demon named Lilith, walks around the streets of Toulouse. While the organizers of the event deny that it is satanic, since the first rule of Satanists is to deny that they're Satanists, the symbolism says otherwise. For instance, Lilith's earrings are inverted crosses, the main symbol of Satanism as a corruption of Christianity. On her belly is another clear inverted cross, as other occult symbols adorn her body. Also, she's literally called Lilith. Other than her horrifying scorpion bottom half, Lilith is adorned with multiple symbols. One is an inverted version of the Trinity symbol, which represents the inversion of the Holy Trinity, Satanic. The Minotaur also patrols the streets of Toulouse as he spits out clouds of smoke on bystanders. The machines interact with each other, 
as an esoteric ritual drama is carried out in plain sight. There's also a giant spider because why not? Continuously exposing the masses to the ugly, horrific, and disgusting is part of the elite's agenda of cultural breakdown. On the promotional poster, the spider had a creepy head above it, personalizing it. Also, the spider casted a pyramidal web on Lilith, hinting that she's under his control. Does the spider represent Satan himself? Is Satan patrolling the streets of Toulouse? The show culminates in a hellish matter as Lilith approaches a fiery circle representing the gate of hell. The mayor of Toulouse personally vetted this event, costing 4.7 million euros of taxpayer money. In other words, the local government carried out a ritual celebrating evil. Of course, some people protested against this publicly funded event that directly attacked Christianity. The Archbishop of Toulouse, Guy de Carimel, found the event so spiritually disturbing that he consecrated the city and diocese to the Sacred Heart of Jesus on October 16th to protect it from dark threats. He stated, Dark clouds are gathering over our world. Darkness and gloom are becoming a trend everywhere, and even perniciously take root in our daily lives in our reading, art, and music, to the point of becoming normality. In another review, the Archbishop said about the event, Some people enjoy watching horror films, but you have to pay to see them. If we don't feel like watching all this, we'll just have to hole up at home for three days. The sheer size of the structures makes it hard to escape this sad spectacle. The characters are troubling to Christians, because Lilith is a female demon evoked in the Bible. The Minotaur is a not very pleasant character who feasts on human flesh, and no one likes spiders. People should find a way to unite around love rather than fear. The event also angered the Protestant community of Toulouse. Representatives of the French Protestant Federation stated, We love Toulouse for its history, its culture, and its dynamism. Toulouse is life, joy, and beauty. However, church representatives are shocked and alarmed by the choice of theme for this act, which presents Toulouse as the gateway to darkness. As seen in previous videos, including this recent one about an opera in Germany, there is a disturbing trend happening. Satanic rituals celebrating the victory of evil are occurring in public spaces, disguised as art and performances. Every time, symbols and references directly attacking Christianity are purposely included in the event. And, every time, people protest against the disrespectful blasphemy against their religion. However, it doesn't matter. Mass media ignores or dismisses these concerns while simultaneously blowing out of proportion anything else that is deemed offensive to those they choose to protect. Then, once this event is done, another one takes place somewhere else in the world. While some might say this event is merely a fun festival that uses cool technology, we must consider things from a wider perspective. The symbolism used in this show is not fictional. It is actually used in occult and satanic circles. It is believed to carry actual power. And this power is multiplied when it is used in the context of a mega ritual. Knowledge dissemination relies on you. Share this video far and wide.